Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've bought recently. I was going to do a blog post about this, but I thought a video would be more fun and a bit more interesting than just seeing lots of pictures and a bit of text saying how much everything was. So yeah, I'm going to get started. The first place I went was Boots. First thing I picked up was this Lee Stafford hair treatment for hair that never grows past a certain level. Butter Pots, which I've been using for a couple of months now, and it's on the verge of the finish, so I just thought I'd buy a new one and stock up while it was an offer because it was one cost £7.19 and two was £8. So I thought I'll just stock up and yeah, we'll see if that makes any difference. My hair seems to feel nicer, stronger, and I don't know if it's grown or not, but we'll see. The next thing I bought was something that's taken over the whole YouTube and blogger community by storm at the moment, and it's the um, Frizzy's three day straight and I bought two as well because one costs six ninety nine and two was seven fifty so I thought why not um, and I think I'm gonna like this product I've not used it yet so I hope I will but anything that stops me tracing in my hair every day sounds like a great product to me and I will take lots of pictures and do hopefully do an in depth review on this soon. The last thing I picked up was this event. Veen Extremely Gentle Cleanser. Gems Maquillage did a video at the end of last year saying that this was similar to Cetaphil. And I really liked Cetaphil when I used it last time. And obviously Cetaphil is really difficult to get in the UK. So I thought I'd just pick this up. This was £8 for 200 notes. The next place I went was Superdrug. And I just bought this Arm & Hammer Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. It was on... Um, offer it was better than half price so it was 95p and I've been using this brand of toothpaste for a year now just under a year I think actually and I really like the effect it's given and um, the last place I went was Primark the first thing I picked up was this um, headband it's one of those elasticated kind of ones which people normally wear kind of around the heads like this I think that makes me look like a complete doofus and makes my hair kind of smudge up like a mushroom. So I think I'll be wearing it with my hair like this. And I realise that that will probably make me look younger than I already look. But I think it'll be really nice for summer. I just got these really pretty pinky peach roses. That was £2. The next thing I picked up was just this black... Um, cardigan, you know, not very interesting, just a black cardigan standard staple that you need and everyone needs in their wardrobe. That was £9. Um, so I picked up this bikini, just this black bandeau with a zip down the middle, which is quite risque. And you get the bikini bottoms with it as well. This is £7 for the two. And I think about Primark is that their sets aren't you can't buy the set, them separately because I kind of needed a smaller size bottoms and top but you couldn't buy that so I was a bit annoyed. Also picked up two other things which the first thing was this um, pussy bow blouse and just this white blouse with kind of the pussy bow obviously and this kind of um, stripe not line detail down the front and kind of sleeves with a little button on so it doesn't comes down to the wrist and just do it up with a little button. That was £10. And I also picked up this feather top from Primark. And this was £8, just chiffon as well. And it's a crop top angle almost. The way it, the material is like a rectangle. And the arms are just stitched up there. And, but yeah, and it's quite baggy. I kind of wanted to buy a bigger size so that the neck could be like an off shoulder look but I can I even tried on the size 16 and it still wasn't off shoulder. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.